welcome back to another episode of Daily Transmission. You know what, today, have we done this like this before? Uh, not not a, a while. It's a happy day for me because usually I'm the one getting scumbagged into breaking their cars. Oh, oh there it is. There, there we go, fire. Stop, no! No, 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 no. Nope, no. There you go. So we get to scumbag somebody else. That's right. Design daddy number one. Boom! What's up, John? Wow. Hey, have you done this before? To what? The what level, this, this level of professionalism here. Just granting. Hey. Damn, what's, what's Hello, sir. Hey, how's it going, John? Welcome. Hi, what's your name? What do you do? Uh, I'm John Chase. Uh, I brought my 1967 Chevy 2 Nova Sports Coupe. This is a test of the emergency advertisement system. like how John just casually stunts on everybody in the office? Yeah. Like he doesn't bring this thing around forever. Nah. And then it comes out like this. Yeah, this yeah. is sick, by the way. Did you paint this? Not myself, no. Okay. South County Auto Body did. But this is a Granada Gold 1967 Super Sport color. This is not Super Sport, but I like the color so much because it was Maui DuPont blue before and after many, many years. This thing is super clean for a street car. Uh, I mean, then you drive this. I mean, it's... it's it's clean. It's clean. For it's me, a, this is a clean car. This is, for anybody, this is a clean car. What do you mean? Yeah, I guess. I could. Most of my cars are pretty yeah, rough. There's literally not a single scratch. No, there is. I already scratched it here. That doesn't count. Yeah, I that's scratched not. it right here with my knife. I tried to put the bumper on by myself, and I dropped it on my head, and I scratched the back of the car. But that was right when I got out of paint. So as long as you didn't scratch your head. So here's the beauty of this car. This is my first car. Hurt? was learning how to talk when I started driving this car. Wow. I've had this car three decades now. So, I mean, so, this car is first everything for me. I was gonna say. First street action, first time getting pulled over, first time back seat action, everything you can imagine <laughs> happened in this car. This is a small back seat too, so this is, you know, that's- John's the right size for the back seat. Yeah. Now, what did this come with so, from the factory? Well, this came originally with a six cylinder. Okay, straight six? Yeah. All right. Well, when we got- when it, It's been in my family for 40 years. My so dad this was you. this got passed down to you. Yeah, my mom used to drive this car nice. with a straight six. No, actually had a 283 with a two barrel. Dang. When I got it, my dad broke the throttle so it couldn't go over 55 miles an hour when I was in high school. So it's, that's not a that's not a straight six. No, no. So this is a Gen 1 small block. It's got a little bit of a blower on it. Five pounds of boost. Uh, Just a little bit of a blower? Yeah, I mean, this that's is not a, a big hefty, blower. I, I mean, in, in respects to what? That looks like a big blower. No, nah, to like a big blower. like. 1471. This is sure, a baby. Sure, it's not sticking out of the hood, but I wouldn't call that small. Well, I guess it's not really too special. I mean, it's got high protective pistons, eight and three quarter compression on it. It's got stock rods, ARP hardware in it. It's got forge crank in it. Guesstimating with power, 400 something. That's so really solid. to the tire, 350. So I see you got some aluminum heads on there too. These are kind of entry level head to be honest, but I had 202 160 fuel injected vet heads on it. And those heads were old and the re actually haven't rebuilt. It's cheaper to go with new heads, they're yeah. lighter. And this is a cruiser. This is really a cruiser car. It's not really a performance car. Do you get any blower wine from this? Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the issue with this car I've always had forever is with these blowers, they're just big. They just make a bunch of heat and it makes the car really hot. So I can only drive this car February and November. Uh -huh. So I never really drove it until I got the Be Cool cooling module. This right here, I can drive this car in 110 degree weather in Norco, Riverside, Inland Empire. Never gets hot. 
That's a big daddy. This yeah. thing is awesome. Nice little fan kit too. Yeah, so I can drive this car anywhere now. I love it. These cars are notorious for having really horrible front suspensions from the factory. Like you can have them rebuilt and have them totally set up, hit a pothole, they're done. So I actually put a TCI front clip on it. So I have rack and pinion on it. Uh oh. So it helped oh, okay. lighten the car up a little bit and it's way easier to drive. Because this is a unibody car, so it was like 16 bolts. You just unbolt the whole front of the car. Oh. You bolt this on and put everything back in. Oh, that's rad. So yeah, that's cool. So transmission-wise, turbo 350 with a gear vendor behind it so I can have overdrive. Because I have 373 gears in the back with an Eaton. Sounds like the old school hot boy. He's mm -hmm. got his high horsepower boogie mach machine. And then he's got his hot boy cruiser with shiny paint and chrome wheels. I guess you could say that. Pretty safe we got out back in the rear here. Uh, this the Eaton Quad 373 Caltrax on it. I need to do a couple things on this car before it's done. And when I say done, I mean never really done. It's that car thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have a kit from CBR, Church Boy Racing, and they sent over a four link setup for it. So uh, you can get a 265 without mini tubbing it. Because this is a 225 tire. Nah, doesn't really look. But 265 would be good. Okay. So I like that you're running the uh, the Hoonigan Momo wheel in here. Oh yeah, I'm one of the few that have them. Yeah, I don't even have one. Hurt doesn't yeah. have one. So the next step is I got to finish the interior. I did these seats, I don't know, 20 years ago in the driveway. These are super sport seat covers. It's not right. It looks so unsafe. Is, 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 <laughs> is this oh, just yeah. that? That's just how. That's just how it is, buddy. Okay, there's, that doesn't lock. You just have a lap belt. Yeah, dude. This is actually totally out. I gotta get a new one. This is like 20 years old. Yeah, 99. <laughs> this is super old. Gotta get another one. <laughs> Like I said, he is a OG yeah. hot boy. Uh, so is the gear vendor this little button or Yeah, that button right there. Okay, so you just click that and then you got overdrive. Yeah. And with a gear vendor you can actually split every gear. So you actually in theory have six gears. I like your gauge placement too. Yeah. And you got the stickered up dash. Like legit OG hot boy, man. Yeah, man. It's got Warren Oates from Two Lane Blacktop, some random girl from the internet, some old drawings <laughs> I did. My buddy Ed Santos. Rest in peace. Some stuff I got from Joy Redmond from Wrecked magazine long time ago. Back in the day. Back in the day, dude. I don't know. I like it. It's my fun car. It's a, I, I love this thing, man. It's super clean. Like, just everything about it hits the feels. It's got a little bit of power. Cruise is nice on the highway. Some nice shiny paint. Nice shiny wheels. You want to yeah, fire this thing up? But yeah. See how she sounds? Just make sure there's a fire extinguisher in there, I think we used it already. Yeah. Well, the plug. The plug got hot. <laughs> yeah. Well, it could go wrong. That's the fun thing about old cars. It's like, you know, you always have that imminent danger of like, hey, we're going to be on fire today. Okay. It's got that old V8. I was going to say, that's that old man grunt. Yeah. Yeah. You got like long tubes and H pipe and some Blowmasters. Uh, Blowmasters. No crossovers? No crossovers. Ah, oh, that's why it sounds like a boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you're ready to party, we're ready to party. space to get Philly but when you have a nice classic car and you're good at drag racing and you're not so much a drifter or a shitty parking lot kid just start look at that just, just burn it to the ground all you gotta do is burn it to the ground <laughs> it's a good bit of rubber it actually bums me out that people come here thinking they gotta get crazy and then sometimes make themselves look foolish 
when they could easily just rip a fatty and go out like that, mm -hmm. you know? Is that pretty good? That's great. It's pretty good, all right, good. Nice. Good work, sir. Thank you. You ate the concrete up a little Nice. Bit. You're a little concrete -y. Uh huh. Pavement yeah. thrashing, good for nothing. Oh yeah, it's good. Oh yeah, you're getting chunks. Yeah, those are the front tires off the 55 that I ran for several years. The only thing I do with them now is that. Nice. That's not a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. So, uh, you want to come over here and do this thing? What? I don't understand. What's this thing? Uh, we got one thing that we do at the end of all these episodes. I'm pretty sure you were the granddaddy of it. No, nah, I don't think I was. You were the one who started it. But... I know you started it. Yeah. But you, not many people rap like you. Yeah? Yeah, I, not, I guess, not yeah. Not many people rap like you, Chase. That's <laughs> My motor is very small. Yeah, your motor is small, <laughs> but that's a different motor. So. <laughs>